Hello YouTube, my name is Bowtie Media, and today we've got another installment, the first of 2023 of This Week in EDM, where we go over songs that came out This Week in EDM. How self-explanatory is that? That's great. Uh, for those of you that don't know, we split this into five different categories, trash, bad, meh, good, and standout tracks. Five different categories that I put in personally. Again, these are just my opinions. You may agree with me, you may not agree with me. That's how opinions go. Uh, but uh, today, or this week, was a weird week, not gonna lie. Um, a lot of weird, uh, older kind of returns from other artists, some newer stuff, uh, a lot of stuff that I suspected was going to be very bad, but was not. It was, it was just a strange week. Um, and to top it all off, there is nothing in trash. Uh, no trash song this week, just um, a couple bad. So we'll start in bad. Uh, first song of the week, we've got You Are Not Alone by Dioro featuring Dear Sarah. Um, the Reflect EP is out now. Uh, the first thing I've reviewed so far of 2023, and it's not great. Um, I gave it a three out of 10, really thought it was just boring house music. And this track is the worst of it, personally. Um, I I can't stand the vocals. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Sarah, I, I cannot. Uh, it sounds like a mixture of Tones and I and the TikTok girl voice. And um, yeah, maybe if it was there was a better supporting beat behind it, maybe I could get over it, but I just, I couldn't get over how awful I thought the voice was, so sorry. Uh, then we got Radio by Sigla and uh, Manek, I wanna say Sigala and Manek. Um, Slap House, baby, uh, and this is it in its most derivative form. Uh, I've, I've heard it all a million times before, and this is just the same drowning beat over and over again. So that's that. Uh, then moving into the meh category, songs that I thought are pretty meh. Um, surprising amount of artists that are here, not gonna lie. Um, uh, we've got Steve Aoki and Regard featuring Maisie with New York. Um, a very kind of carefree, simple, uh, solid vocals actually on this one. It's a, it's a kind of nice change of Steve Aoki that I wouldn't mind hearing this like on the radio or in some setting. I, I actually don't think this is, this is that bad. Um, and I, that's, and I just trashed on Steve Aoki this last year in my recap videos, but um, but uh, yeah, not that bad. Another surpriser, we've got Numb by Good Boys and Avion. Um, this is the best Good Boys song to date. Uh, they kind of had this house uh, genre that they dominated for a little bit. It was like a weird mixture of like deep slap house um, that I thought was horrible, but uh, it, this one is a, a tad more on the lackadaisical side as well, uh, but it, it, it's really not, it's not awful. Um, so I... Yeah, good boys, way to go. You, this is, I think, your best song to date. Uh, then we've got Easy to Love by Armin Van Buren, Matoma, and Teddy Swims. Uh, this is your classic feel-good summer song, which is released in the winter, which feels a little weird. Um, made for kind of large commercial appeal, something you'll hear people be playing on the beaches or something like that. Uh, simple lyrics, minimalistic beat, and uh, easy to sing along to, just not the most creative song out there. So that's obviously carefree. Um and the biggest shocker for me of all these by far, uh, bets on us, uh, cheat codes and Dolly Parton. Oh my goodness. I feel like I got that song name wrong, but, uh, as, as much as I clown on cheat codes and Dolly Parton or so not Dolly Parton in particular, I don't, I don't, I don't like country music at all. And I really don't like cheat codes, the producers, and, uh, this isn't bad. This honestly isn't that bad. Um, I, I, I think this is a better song than their entire last album, which was my number two worst album of the year. Uh, the the kind of classic uh, country guitar isn't too annoying or too on the nose. And um, it, it, it's a okay blend of electro pop and country. Um, it's not my style, but you know, I could dig it. I could dig it. Then we've got Lay Low by Tiesto, uh, your very kind of classic Deep House Tiesto sound here with the uh, deep, booming voice going on here with another high uh, uh, alto from a female there. But um, short run time, uh, not much going on, but just it's it's your kind of basic Tiesto track uh, nowadays. So, And then we've got Nirvana by uh, Rainier uh, Zonalveld. I don't even know if I'm saying that correctly. And then um, High Low, uh, which is Oliver Heldman's um, alias. Uh, breaking into more acid house here, which is, I guess, Hilo does this more kind of deeper house sound. Um, but a decent little tune, uh, very ripe for club. Um, not a ton happening, but this is, again, in a club setting, this would be a fantastic track. Uh, then we've got Antisec by Dead Mouse featuring YT Cracker. This one surprised me for good being lower on the list. Um, it's uh, Dead Mouse, the last couple of years, has done a bit of a rap kind of song here and there and kind of did a lot with the Harry Shada. But uh, yeah, this one, not great. Um, it was a little too bright, I felt. It was a really weird mixture of bright sounds and a kind of darker, grimier uh, rap. It was just weird. It felt... Uh, 
unnatural to me, I think was the best way to put it. It just felt a little off. Um, no chorus in the song either. It's just it's just kind of an odd song all the way around. Um, just not, not my flavor in the end. Then we've got Tonight by Nanobi, a very fun, happy house, a happy hardcore track um, to kick off the year for Monster Cat 2023. Um, solid tune, but in the end, this one is just really just, it's just me. Like, I, I'm not the biggest happy hardcore fan with the very, very bright kind of uh, European style of, of happy hardcore, I, I find. So uh, it landed just meh for me here, but. And then we got Church by Bye Now, by 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 Now, like B U Y Now, uh, which is uh, actually just Sebastian Ingrosso and uh, Steve Angelo from um, uh, or Steve Angelo, uh, two thirds of Swedish House Mafia, uh, which is an old alias from twenty years ago. Also, oh, uh, Parisia Parisia is on here too, but uh, apparently this alias is twenty years old. This is our first song in so long. It's a double sided single here with the kind of longer drawn out track uh, on the other one here, other than Church. But um, great production, just a little a little bit on the boring side, I think, on this song for me in particular. I get that that's that kind of style of Progressive House, but uh, it could have done something a little more, given me a little something more. But as we move into the good category, we've got uh, five songs this week to round off the list. Um, more Than This by Mango and Cloud Cage. The More Than This sweep is here. Uh, you, this is your basic kind of Monster Got Silky or simplistic kind of melodic house tune here That's uh, that's very well produced. So thumbs up. Uh, then we got Fade to Black by Benny Benassi and Astrality. Uh, always a pleasure to hear new Benny Benassi. And um, this is kind of right up my alley for a uh, progressive house that I personally enjoy. And I think it's a pretty solid track with great production. Um, and it's uh, I actually found it to be pretty interesting uh, for having a minimalistic beat here, um, which is not to say for some of the other tracks, but... Then we've got Breathe Me Back to Life by Stonebank featuring Lena Sue. Uh, this is a like a slap house, electro pop fusion style song. And, uh, you know, Stonebank just makes every genre better. I, I feel like Stonebank, with, he did it with the, the future rave track, um, Good For Me, just makes the kind of more boring derivative genres very interesting and produces it well. And this is, it's great. Um, I actually kind of like Stonebank going in this more poppy direction as of late. Uh, it hasn't been full pop, um, like something like Bad Computer sort of have, has gone nowadays but uh, i still still really like the track so uh our penultimate track of the week is shell shock the edit by j or g jones eprom and corliss um just the edit of shell shock here uh it's the it's really interesting because they took the intensity and the glitchiness that they're kind of all known for and really toned it down uh to make a more uh happy sounding track i would say that still has that kind of grimy acidness feel to it but still uh toned it down quite a bit i love the vocal chops here and uh, it was just very clean production that you always get from especially g jones and eprom and our final Final track of the week, best track of the week. Uh, not standout, but you do hopefully know what it is. Uh, it's Rumble uh, by Skrillex, Fred again, and Flo Dan. Um, I mean, you know you have your opinions on the song already. There's no way you really don't. I would be shocked if you hadn't heard the song by this point. Um, I think it's a solid track, uh, a little on the shorter end here. Um, fun beat. It's a little all over the place in a good way, I think. Um, I actually did like Flo Dan's uh, bars here. I actually, I'm a fan of that kind of style of, um, if, I, I know I said I didn't like the Nobis European style of, of music. I like this kind of European rap style, but uh, yeah, I, I just, I guess it's a British rap, I should say UK. Uh, but yeah, so you, you know your opinion on Rumble. It's my best track of the week. Um, not a standout though. It's it's a solid track though. So, uh, But yeah, that has been this week in EDM. Let me know what you think of any and all of these songs in the comments section below. I'd love to know what you think of them. And uh, other than that, I'm Bid Media, and I will see you guys in another video.